My name is Steve. Welcome back to my shop. This video is a continuation and hopefully the finale of cutting the Acme threads, the four threads per inch Acme threads on my Atlas 10F lathe. Uh, if you recall in the first section I kind of cut the video off abruptly and left it to be continued and at that point I had a disaster on my hands. What ended up happening is that I knew better and I knew that I should be turning the mandrel between centers but I tried to cheat and tried to put it in a collet and what ended up happening is that the tool pressure ended up pushing the mandrel into the collet and so I lost my registration on the threads. To make a long story short, I went ahead, readjusted it, and finished the piece, but it was not usable. Uh, too much damage had been done on it. So I have made up a new blank, and I've got it mounted. I'll take you over to the lathe and show you uh, the new setup. We'll start cutting threads. Here's the new setup. I got a faceplate in. It's something that I've been actually looking for for a while and I, I got a faceplate. I jury rigged the center. I've got to get a new uh, center for this lathe but I jury rigged the center and I cut that true and so now I have the mandrel being driven by a dog and it's set up between two centers. I've cut the diameter down, it's one inch, and I'm setting up the tool bit now. When you set up a tool bit for cutting threads, make sure that you adjust the tool bit so that it is square to the workpiece, not the tool post necessarily because that could be out. So I'm actually I'm putting my square on the tool bit and matching that up with the piece. And I have my tool bit square to the workpiece. The tool bit was ground symmetrically so that I know I'm set right. The compound is adjusted to 14 and a half degrees because this is a 29 degree thread and I'm ready to take a scratch pass. There's my thread gauge right on the money. Well, let's cut some threads.
So a lot of tool pressure on this and so what I'm doing I'm taking very light cuts and I am doing a scratch pass about every other cut. This is going to take a while so I'll bring you back when we're a little bit closer to finished. That's it. Final pass. I had cut this down to the minor diameter and I'm just touching it. And I made a final spring pass and that should do it. Let's just see where it measures. 135 thousandths. right on the button. It's exactly what it's supposed to be. Okay, I've got the piece off of the mandrel and now I just have to trim it down to length.
Okay, I've got about... Forty thousands to take off. Like about ten thousands to go. That'll do it. Just deburr it. It's ready to pack up and go. That looks good. I don't mind telling you that this job kicked my butt. I made a few operator errors and I had a few problems with the lathe which that I had to sort out. And once I got everything straightened out, the third one was the charm. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.